Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 1961 Chevrolet Impala bubble top that has been fully restored, including air conditioning that blows ice cold. It's packing a 348 V8 with a three-speed manual transmission. You gotta check out this car. To start off this video here, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of information throughout the presentation that I forget to mention. So please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with over 150 highly detailed photos. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this particular car here, as it's documented, we have invested a total of $9,331.86 in this vehicle. Again, you can see everything that was done on the invoice, which is in our photo gallery. Once we put these vehicles through that vigorous process, which takes a lot of time to sort all these vehicles, as I've said before, regardless of who restored them, whether they're factory correct, whether they're custom, they all need to be gone through. And that's what we do here at MS Classic Cars to eliminate all the surprises. When the vehicles are done in that service process, we spend countless hours detailing these vehicles from top to bottom to make them as gorgeous as what you see here today. Once uh, the new owner purchases the vehicle, I will personally handle all of the paperwork and I will also assist in all the enclosed shipping in the lower US uh, 48 states. Once the vehicles go inside the enclosed trailer, we cover them with plastic to make sure they arrive at your doorstep as clean as they left our showroom. So please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. I am going to reference uh, this first paragraph uh, which you can see on our website here. This just tells a little bit about the Impala, just some informative information, and then I'll get into uh, my presentation. So the first thing I'll say is this gorgeous 1961 Chevrolet Impala bubble top is simply breathtaking with its stylish design and striking color combination. Uh, this is many people's favorite classic car of all time. These are absolutely gorgeous. This particular car, just has got serious eyeballs. You clearly uh, will see it in our presentation and think you'll agree that it's just a very special car that really talks when you look at it. Uh, it was the product of a complete restoration and only has 338 miles since completion. Chevrolet introduced a totally new design for the 1961 Impala. For the first time in several years, the full-size Chevy was finless. The 1961 Impala still sat on the GMB body platform and rolled on a 119 inch wheelbase. The Impala body was now one and a half inches shorter 
giving it a trim and boxy look. The Impala line struck with its signature three taillight design, which I absolutely love. You'll see some of the photos that Corey took of this car uh, of the rear end and you kind of capture those very famous three taillights. It looks so sharp. We even took a few photos with the lights on and everything. Again, that's a very classic look that the Impala uh, is noted for. Um, the Impala and the Bel Air two-door sport coupes each featured a new roofline styling known as the bubble top. 1961 was the only year for the Impala two-door sedan model. As the original VIN number of this car and the trim tag of this car indicate, it was built in St. Louis, Missouri on the third week of July as a 1961 Chevrolet Impala two-door sport coupe with an eight-cylinder engine. It had a Roman red with Emron white roof and white insert exterior. It had a red and white interior and it was built with tinted glass and a padded dash. From the information gathered, it's unclear when this vehicle was restored. If I were to guess based on the facts that I have, I would say it was probably sometime around 2009 um, and so forth, but it obviously appears extremely fresh and we did a really nice job bringing it to the next level at MS Classic Cars. During the restoration, the exterior was repainted in its original color of Roman red with a white side molding. The decision was made to paint the roof uh, red rather than paint it white, which I think was a great idea. It just really uh, works on this car, that beautiful red with the white uh, side and the white wall tires, just simply gorgeous. Um, it was outfitted with the Super Sport trim package and a factory air conditioning system that works excellent. It's powered by a matching numbers 348 V8 and three-speed manual transmission. The car was purchased from a private collector by MS Classic Cars in late 2021. We got the car into our service department in uh, Jul I think it was around June, uh, mid-June of 2022. We just finished it, obviously it's July of 22. This is a wonderful looking car and it was really restored to enjoy. So that's kind of the overview of this particular car. So let's talk a little bit about the exterior. Um, when you're looking down the sides of this car, I would describe the body as very, very straight. These are really big cars. As I mentioned earlier, 119 inch uh, wheel. It's just a long, long car. And a lot of times you get a lot of waves and so forth, especially in the doors and the rear quarters. This vehicle's body is absolutely beautiful. Um, when you look at the gap lines, and I'm referring to the hood, I'm referring to the doors and the trunk lid. The gap lines on this car are also really good. Again, if you get on uh, and look at some other examples, you'll see a lot of times that the gaps on these cars are not the best either. I think they did a really nice job when they did the body work on this car of giving her anything to fit really well. Uh, the paint work on this car is spectacular. Uh, they did a beautiful job painting it. Again, at MS Classic Cars, we have a process that we put our vehicles through regarding the paint different stages and so forth. Uh, we did paint correction, and of course we get into uh, compounding and, and waxing and everything else, and we did a beautiful job with that. Definitely give the guys in credit uh, in the detail room for doing an outstanding job. It is definitely a show quality paint job, and it looks absolutely beautiful. As I had stated earlier, it was refinished in Roman red, which, which is the original matching numbers color. Again, this uh, top here was painted red. Originally, that was white from the factory. They call it Emron white, and they did leave the moldings on the side. They call them inserts. They left that white as well. So again, it just works really, really nice. Regarding all of the glass in the car, these are huge windshields. This windshield was replaced brand spanking new. Uh, it is in beautiful condition. It's crystal clear. They also replaced the rear glass in the vehicle as well, which again is crystal clear. It's in beautiful shape. It's huge. Uh, so the two biggest pieces of glass were replaced during the restoration time frame, but the vents that you see here in the doors, the windows uh, here, and also the quarter glass, those are original. They are stamped with the uh, Easy Eye 
uh, that the factory did. Um, but I will say that this glass is in absolutely beautiful condition. I actually had to look at the glass in multiple angles uh, to decide whether or not it had been replaced. It's in that nice of condition. Uh, so that's why they didn't have to replace it because it was in such great shape. When you look at all of the window trim, it's clear to me, I'm referring mostly to the windshield and the back windshield, that basically all of that stainless is original uh, to the car. It looks like they did a really uh, good job restoring it. Uh, I'm not gonna say that it's perfect, but it's really nice. And it looks like these pieces here might have been replaced uh, after the fact because they're obviously like brand spanking new. When you look at things like the windshield wipers, you look at these dual chrome uh, mirrors on the exterior, Obviously, all that is new. The fender ornaments that you'll see on the corners, again, that's uh, really part of the classic look with an Impala. Those are brand new. The whole front grill uh, with that beautiful emblem in the front is all brand new. Even the Chevrolet emblem on the hood looks brand new. The front bumper uh, is brand new. That chrome bumper is beautiful. It does have that classic uh, dual headlight on each side look. Uh, the headlights are obviously all new as well. Again, the molding that runs down the side, that was all replaced. It's in brand new condition. It looks gorgeous. Um, when we get to the back of the vehicle, you'll notice that the emblem on the trunk lid was replaced. That's brand new. All the taillight bezels, the lenses, the rear bumper, everything on this vehicle for the most part was replaced new uh, during the restoration. Even the door handles are in beautiful shape. You will notice in a few of our photos uh, that we took of the vehicle, you will see the rear fender skirts. Those are painted, those are included. Uh, we thought it looked better to present most of the photos in the car without the skirts. So we left them off uh, again, even during this video presentation, but the new owner has a choice. If he or she wants to add those back, uh, they're pretty simple uh, to install. You can put them back on the car, uh, but those are included. And when you look at the wheels, uh, I think this car has got a killer stance. Uh, the wheels, obviously, which are steel 14 inch wheels were painted red. They got that real nostalgic style uh, chrome hubcap with the spinner. And then of course you got the white wall tires. These tires are actually uh, called Dean Alpha uh, 365. That's the brand and model of the tire. They're 215, 75-14s. And again, they fit on this car really, really well. When you get uh, into the interior of this car, this is the original matching numbers, uh, colored interior. It really complements the exterior perfectly. They did a beautiful job with this interior. Clearly everything in here was done to a very high level. Let's start with the headliner. The headliner is super tight, which again is not always the case with these bigger cars. This one is in beautiful shape. Not only is the headliner tight, but it's white. I think when you have a white uh, headliner, it really makes the cabin space feel bigger. Um, it also has these nice thick white sun visors here, which uh, hold up really well. Again, the dome lights that are on the headlight, uh, I'm sorry, on the headliner on both sides, those dome lights are in working order. Um, this rear view mirror here, which kind of starts from the headliner and works its way down. This is a chrome mirror. This has been replaced. It's in brand new condition. The entire dash uh, was painted in the same color as the exterior. They did a beautiful job with that. All of the gauges and everything are in really nice shape. I'm referencing the speedometer, the temperature gauge, the fuel gauge. Uh, again, everything's in great uh, looking condition. Um, it does have that classic silver trim uh, that kind of uh, surrounds the dashboard area. You'll see that in all of our pictures, the glove box door, the ashtray area and so forth. It just looks real sharp. Over on the right-hand side, you got that nostalgic SS grab handle uh, and it's got the cross flags and everything else with the Impala symbol on the other side uh, of the dash. But all of the knobs, everything is in really beautiful condition. Of course, one of the highlights of this interior, which is probably my favorite thing, is the steering wheel. This is a real classic uh, steering wheel design here. It's got the white on the top and on the bottom, it's got the red in the center. Obviously the red uh, center here. And then you'll notice that it has that same metal trim that kind of marries 
uh, the dash and so forth. They even have little holes that kind of represent the gauges, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, all the door panels are brand spanking new. These door panels actually change color a little bit. They go from kind of a red to a nice kind of uh, silver material and then down to a plaid red on the bottom. All the door mechanisms, like the window cranks, the vent uh, cranks, the door uh, pad, the door handles, all that stuff was replaced brand new during the restoration. It's in beautiful condition. This bench seat uh, is super comfortable. It was completely reupholstered. Again, it's got the white, it's got the red, it's got the black lines, which really flows with the interior. Of course, the, the rear seat is matching as well. That's in beautiful condition. And then this rug, uh, the rug, the carpeting is all brand new. It does have a, a kind of like a black speckle within the red, which kind of breaks it up a little bit, looks really sharp. And one thing that we did at MS Classic Cars is I ordered brand new uh, oversized carpeted floor mats that I think just really uh, make the interior pop. I even went with the uh, embossed Impala cross flags on the red carpeted match, which look great. And I would say another highlight of this interior is the fact that it has air conditioning. Uh, this vehicle from the trim tag indication did not have air conditioning from the factory. I believe that that was either installed at the dealership when it was new or it was done during the restoration period, but they went with an authentic style air conditioning system, which is very valuable. We actually sent out uh, the air conditioning to a very uh, reputable company to have the compressor rebuilt. It was converted to one R34. The air conditioning system works awesome in this car. It blows ice cold. Again, that is a huge plus with this particular vehicle. Uh, now, if you look at the trunk compartment, they did a beautiful job with the trunk compartment. Um, again, all that was nicely restored. It was painted in the correct uh, splatter trunk paint, which is kind of a gray. They outfitted it all with the uh, factory style trunk mats. And then of course it has a full size spare uh, matching tire, wheel, etc. And it also has all your tools back there. So they did a really nice job uh, with the trunk compartment. Again, it's this is a show quality vehicle, which has been done really from top to bottom. As we make our way <clears throat> into the engine compartment, uh, this is really where things even get better. You will see on the back side of this hood, uh, it's painted kind of like a satin black and it's got all new installation. It's real clean, real crisp. When you look at the firewall, the inner fenders, the radiator support, everything was beautifully refinished. It's kind of like a semi-gloss black. And then of course, the heart of the car, which is that real nostalgic orange uh, 348 V8 engine that's got the nice orange uh, valve covers with the Chevrolet uh, bow tie in them. It's got that black air cleaner there. It just has that real classic look. When we get into the uh, engine uh, specifications, I'm just going to kind of go over this a little bit more in detail, reference some of my notes here. Um, the <clears throat> engine is clearly uh, rebuilt. It runs absolutely beautiful. When we first got this car, that was one of the things that we had noticed was how good the motor actually sounded. And now that the guys in service have gone through it, they've really got it running good. You'll hear that in a minute when I start it. Um, this engine is believed to be the original engine in this car. Chevrolet did not stamp the blocks with VIN numbers in 1961. So it's impossible to ever know if an engine was born with this vehicle. But what you do is you line up the casting dates of the engine along with the engine pad uh, stamp numbers to see if it falls within the build date of the car and this particular vehicle does. So um, the casting date was May 11th of 1961. Again, that coincides with the build date of the car. The engine pad stamp reads T0710F, which decodes as Tonawanda, which is where it was built July 10th, the uh, 1958 through 1961 is the engine 348, 250 horsepower, four barrel with manual transmission. So all of that lines up with the car. I, again, I would go on record and say this is the original engine for this car, but again, I cannot prove it. The engine does have the correct Rochester four jet carburetor. Um, it's also equipped with uh, all the correct GM style hoses. It even has a Delco battery topper with a power cutoff knob. 
and the engine is cooled by a correct Harrison radiator. It does breathe through uh, factory manifolds and a correct style dual exhaust system, which sounds sweet. And the engine is coupled to a matching numbers three-speed manual transmission, which was also rebuilt and shifts beautifully. Again, the transmission is believed to be original to the car, but once again, Chevrolet did not stamp VIN numbers on the transmissions in 61, so we can't prove that. But once again, Based on the casting number and the casting date, which is April 14th, 1961, everything coincides with the build date of the car. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I had said uh, this vehicle's build date was the third week of July, 1961. So everything falls around that time frame, and everything kind of checks out regarding uh, all the dates and so forth. Um, now, the last thing is the power um, is transferred to the rear differential, which was also rebuilt completely. The rear end casting number is 3725899, and the casting date was May 19th, 1960. Not 100% sure if the original rear end is in this car or not. Sometimes they did keep rear ends uh, and, and put them in vehicles that were a year behind. Uh, that was very common. So again, I don't know if the rear end is original or not, but it clearly was rebuilt and it's in great working order. The undercarriage of this car is actually really, really clean. Uh, one thing that they did with the underneath of this is they painted it body color with kind of a textured material. Uh, that material is used a lot of times for durability, uh, helps with rock chips and things like that. It also keeps a little bit of that road noise down when you have that textured material, but you clearly will see in all of our photos that the entire underneath of the car was painted. The X frame was painted black, that's in beautiful condition. Of course, the entire fuel system, the lines, the fuel tank, all that's brand new. Uh, the manual steering was gone through. That works great. The manual brakes all work great. Um, the suspension system was all redone. Everything underneath the car uh, was restored or replaced during the restoration. It came out absolutely beautiful. So that kind of concludes uh, this video here today. Again, um, I, I want to make sure I'm as transparent as possible. In 1961, they only made a very limited amount of these Impalas with the SS package. So everybody's very clear this is not a real super sport. Again, uh, those are very hard to find and they're often cloned and misled. Uh, people tend to tell people that the cars originally were super sports. That information is on the trim tag. If it was a super sport, this car was not. It was very common back in the day, if you do your homework, that the dealerships would add the SS package trim, which is basically what was done to this car during the restoration, uh, which makes it very, very uh, sexy in the sense of what it looks like. Um, so this is not an SS, uh, but it is clearly a uh, sport coupe. It was clearly born with an eight cylinder. Obviously, everything I just went over is what it is, um, but I just want to make sure that we were as transparent as possible by saying that. And I would also ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. That is the best way to follow MS Classic Cars. We are also on all the social media networks, so if you have not followed us on all those, please do so. Uh, I'll say it over and over again that MS Classic Cars is not a high volume dealership, but we are doing really big things and we really would love the opportunity to earn your business, whether it's on this car or another car down the road. Uh, again, we appreciate your interest. We appreciate you watching this video. Uh, I apologize if this video was a little bit long and lengthy, but the point of my videos are to educate people who are interested in buying our vehicles as much as possible. Uh, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and start this car. I will make a note here. This is a cold start. Um, these cars sometimes with these four barrel carburetors, uh, 348 engines and so forth, they can be a little bit temperamental to start. I thought it would be a great idea to start this car cold and show you how well the service department does at MS Classic Cars to dial in these cars. This is a cold start. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pump the gas pedal a few times, turn the key, let you listen how beautiful she runs. Here we go. You can't make that up. It runs absolutely spectacular. That was a true cold start. You can see where the car right now is idling. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Once again, we appreciate you watching. Rock and roll.